Place with London. Mark, thank you so much for joining me today. Absolute pleasure, Arabella. So we're here at one of London's hottest new hotel openings. Tell us about it. Rosewood London opened in October uh, 2013. After about an £85 million uh, refurbishment programme, really to continue the ethos that um, our owners from Hong Kong have to, to grow the Rosewood brand from 17 hotels at the moment to approximately 40 by 2020. Uh, but unlike most other hotel chains, we are not looking to have the same hotel that looks the same in New York, that it does in Paris, that it does in London, that it does in Beijing. Each hotel will have its own sense of identity, which really plays onto the Rosewood um, sense of place model. Um, and we are so lucky at Rosewood London to have inherited this fantastic um, 1914 Belle Epoque designed um, product which has got all the, all the benefits one would want to have in today's market, but still not being overstated. And um, that again helps with our arrival experience with our guests going through the carriageway into the, uh, the courtyard that we have, and then all the um, elements that then will take the wedding to the next stage that, uh, dare I say, we've seen an opportunity within the marketplace. And one of the important um, elements that we've seen is this director of romance uh, position that um, is going to be unique to Rosewood Hotels and in each hotel we'll have one person who is solely dedicated to the success of each and every wedding but personalising them as well, not making them the same which again is that we're not looking to have the same hotel type or building in each country we're not looking to have the same wedding taking place at Rosewood London and it's all about the wants and the wishes of the bride and the groom and is it this attention to detail that sets the hotel apart from other London venues? It certainly helps. I mean, London has a great uh, array of venues and hotels, and we are very conscious that, um, you know, that that's a good thing. Uh, but where we want to make the difference is by employing people such as Kelly, who will take it so personally, each and every element of the detail. I am now joined by Kelly and Bjorn. My role is Director of Romance um, and I really take uh, our couples through from uh, the moment that they call the hotel, uh, show them around our beautiful building, um, take them through all the steps of booking and then really hold their hand all the way through right up until the wedding day. Um, it's really important to me that they feel comfortable with me and with our entire team and that I'm there to support them, give them ideas and um, help them and guide them along the entire process. We want them to enjoy it, for it to be fun and creative and memorable um, and certainly not stressful and not difficult and um, so it's really important that we support them through that. So what are the different wedding options here at the hotel? Uh, well we have an event studio uh, where we can create uh, the perfect wedding for our couples. Um, it's completely different to anything I've seen before in London. A space set aside um, with all of the different linens, different crockery, different cutlery that we can use for their big day. Um, this allows them to play with different elements and aspects that's completely complementary, that's included for them. Um, different colours, different styles to suit their wedding. Um, and the event studio is amazing. It has a, a small boardroom in there, so also if the brides want to call their DJ or their floor and have private meetings in there, that space is completely for them so they can really um, be in charge and organise their own wedding from their own office with inside the venue. Bjorn, talk us through your role here at the hotel. I'm the uh, Director of Food, Beverage and Kitchens. I'm wearing two hats, both Executive Chef and Food and Beverage Director here at the hotel. So it's so quite a big part of, of all the weddings, really. We uh, pride ourselves on our flexibility. So really this journey that Kelly was talking about to take take the bride and groom along um, a journey from start to finish with all considerations of whatever creative craziness that they would like to create for their wedding that we're able to um, not only provide them with that but uh, enhance it slightly as well and also give them a little bit of feedback on our professional input and into to what, what they're trying to or seeking to achieve um, and, and help them get there. Whatever it is, if they want to do something outdoors, we can do it. If they want to do different cooking stations from various ethnic backgrounds, we can do that as well. We've got the opportunity to have a, a big team of chefs from all parts of the world. So 
uh, and, and keep it authentic as well and not just pretend that we're cooking Chinese or, or get it from somewhere else. But actually, we have a Chinese chef here, we have a Turkish chef here, we have an Indian chef, Palash, who's fantastic, who, who's done many weddings himself, and uh, French or Spanish or Argentinian or whatever. We can go in all sorts of directions. So, so Kelly, what are the different furniture and decor options here at the hotel? Yeah, so um, we have some beautiful residential pieces of furniture, um, so out in the foyer where people are having drinks and canapes, lovely um, dark wood um, poser tables, so no need to cover everything in linens like we've seen so many times before. Um, details of flowers from McQueen's, our in-house florist, already in that area for our bride and grooms. Um, and then once they are looking at their dinner setup options, we actually have an array of linens, cutlery, crockery, um, that they don't have to pay extra for. It's all complimentary um, and they can choose different colours and styles to suit their taste um, so it really makes it completely personal. Thank you both so much for joining me today.